Shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to you. How old And the one said the elders and apostles of great most like Thomas Chief and peace blessing and citation to the whole for let. And um yeah man, I literally just found this article. And it says um high risk four of UFO shows fifty foot disc emerging from a cloud before vanishing into space, claims man. And <clears throat> yeah man, the chariots can do that. <clears throat> and yeah man, I literally I literally just um took some pictures because one of the benefits of having the chariots camp outside my house is that I can take pictures of pictures of them whenever I want. And I literally just took some pictures now to go with this article and with um the basically the chariots man. But yeah. Let me just quickly um read through this article and then yeah man, I'll show you the pictures I took after. This is a high risk image of a UFO emerging from a cloud has been shared and it alleged, allegedly shows a disc shaped craft just moments before it vanished into space. The picture is clear and appears to show a round object that closely resembles the flying saucers depicted in TV and film. And that's the thing man, these chariots can change their shape. And I got evidence of this because like I said <clears throat> like I mentioned before, um the chariots they encamp round about me. Literally. I go outside and there's chariots on every side, man. There's chariots on every side and <clears throat> the Lord literally made the clouds depart so the chariots so I could see the chariot. So I could literally take pictures and do this lesson, man. <laughs> the Lord, the Lord Yahweh Shabbat Shah is an amazing power, man. And it just, show, it just shows me. <clears throat> or it shows us that the Lord is with the Israelites, man. And not only that, I went outside thinking I wasn't going to see anything. Because, like I mentioned, the heavens were covered. I couldn't see nothing. And then all of a sudden I said, I want to do another lesson. And while I was looking into the heavens, this chariot flashed its light at me. And when it flashed, it was, this chariot was close as well. I, I saw the whole shape of it and everything when it flashed its light in exactly the direction I was looking in as well. And it's fitting that I found this article here, man. Yeah, this was done on the 7th of September. So basically, yesterday. <clears throat> and let me get the scripture, man. I think it's Psalms. I think it's Psalms 34. Um, yeah. Psalms. 34 and 7, it says, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. <clears throat> and yeah, man, the chariots, <clears throat> these are the vehicles of, um, of Yahweh Shem HaShem, man, or what the angels use. Like it makes mention, um, No, that's not the right one. Where is it? Yeah. Psalm 68 and 17, it says, The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. And you need to remember that, if I can spell similitudes, right? Similitudes. So I I forgot how to spell it. Yeah, here we go. Beautiful man. All praises to Yahweh Hashem Hashem. How is this? Is Hosea twelve and ten? It says, "I have also spoken by the prophet." And I have multiplied visions and used similitudes by the ministry of the prophets. 
And yeah, man. <coughs> and this is a similitude right here. The chariots of God are 20,000 and thousands of angels. The Lord is among them as in Sinai in the holy place. And the similitude is um, chariots. <coughs> because back then, when the prophets got these visions, they basically, they saw them. And what they would do is, after they've seen the vision, they would write it down. And they would use the vocabulary that they had back then to describe things they saw in the vision or in the future. So, example, the chariot, that was a vehicle. In the ancient times, the chariot was known as a vehicle. <clears throat> so, really, it's saying the vehicles of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them, as in Sinai, in the holy place. So, yeah, man, these are the vehicles of God. Ezekiel 1 and 4, man, it says, And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north, a great cloud, and a fire unfolding itself, and a brightness was about it. And out of the mist thereof, as the colour of amber, and out of the mist of the fire. So, yeah, man, Ezekiel saw the, the vehicles of your whole and whole shy back then, too. even Zechariah man all the prophets have this in common they've dealt with the vehicles of the most high and on some level and this is Zechariah 5 and 1 it says then I turned and lifted up mine eyes and looked at be and behold a flying roll and yeah man that's a chariot that, that's, a, that's another similitude <clears throat> because a flying roll the chariots can actually look like rolls or a scroll. Literally, I've literally taken pieces of chariots that look like scrolls. <laughs> literally, man. And these are the vehicles of the most, the vehicles of the ministers or the angels. <clears throat> and he said unto me, what seest thou? And I answered, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth of is 10 cubits. So yeah, man, Zechariah was using a similitude here. He was using what he knew. <clears throat> the old vocabulary, the vocabulary that he knew back then. Which was, it just, it's basically said, um, he said what he saw, which was a flying roll. Which was one of those chariots that look like a scroll. And I can't forget, um, what was it again? And again here, man, these are the chariots. That's another similitude, the, the appearance of the wheels. The wheels is being the, the chariots. Why? Because, here, look, look at it, man. You're telling me that doesn't look like a wheel. It's literally a circle. And a wheel is circle. <clears throat> Another similitude used by the prophets. Describing the vehicles of the most high as a wheel. Or like it says, um, the prince of the wheels on their work was like unto the colour of beryl. And and they four had one lightness and their appearance, and their work was as it were a wheel in the middle of a wheel. So yeah, man. <laughs> and wait there, I think there was another scripture I wanted to get. Oh yeah, the ministers. Like it makes mention. Um... Psalms one hundred four and four, and it says, "Who make of his angels spirits, his ministers a flame and fire." So the angels are spirits too, man. And let's read what it says. Um, where is it? Yeah, Ezekiel 1 and 19. It says, And when the living creatures went, the wheels went by them. And when the living creatures were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up. So yeah, man, the living those living creatures were the angels. 
It says, whether, whether, whether so ever the spirit was to go, so did the angel. They went thither was their spirit to go, and the wheels were lifted up over against them, but the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. So yeah, man, the angel was inside the vehicle or the chariot. And it says, when those went, these went, and when those stood, these stood. And that's how I was able to get the pictures that I took. Because the chariot was stood there. And I'm, I kid you not, I'm telling you, the first the first one I took, is you can blatantly tell it's a chariot, man. It's obvious, it's, it's evident, man. You can't even lie. You can't even make up excuses for, for <laughs> when I show you the picture, man. I took multiple pictures of the same chariot and each time it changed, it literally changed. Every time I took a picture of it <coughs> and it literally, it just shows you, man, these chariots can change whenever they want. They can look like whatever they want. But, um, let me put this in reader mode because there's so many ads. Yeah, where was I? <coughs> it says taken by Juan Manuel Sanchez. And this is in Mexico, man. The image has been shared on national TV in Mexico and have since gone viral online as the Daily Star reports. And you see the law shows Jake these chariots, man. <clears throat> but they don't know what they are. But the law will pull it back into the remembers what these vehicles are, man. <clears throat> and it says, um, while the photos have undoubtedly caused a stir, scepticism surrounds the authenticity of the pictures. You see this? That's what you saw for you, man. Uh, it's probably fake. So I wonder if the if I showed them the pictures that I took, unedited, and we can look at the um the details of the photo of when it was taken and that literally is unedited. I wonder what they'll say then. They'll probably say, "Oh, it's fake." Bunch of devils, man. <sighs> it says, "And whether they were the result of a camera trick, you see, you see what I mean." A natural phenomenon, an elaborate hoax. You see, this is Esau. Esau doesn't. Esau's a damn devil, man. Or oh, we're in fact a genuine sighting of a mysterious object. Then they know what it is. That's the worst thing. Here they are playing stupid in front of all the people, but really they know what it is, and really they're afraid, man. And so Juan said the object vanished into space, just moments after the, this photo was taken. Juan Manuel Sanchez. So yeah, man. <clears throat> it says Juan, a car mechanic, said he spotted the object while trying to take snaps with his mobile phone of an approaching storm. You see, there you go, a storm. It was a oh my, I I literally have a video of the chariots, of our other chariots shooting out lightning, in a storm. And what is it? <laughs> it's beautiful, man. It's like what am I typing in there? This is beautiful, man. I haven't read this article. I'm reading it right now, but <coughs> yeah, man. So many spiritual things going on. This is Isaiah 29 and 60 says, "Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire." And what did what did Mr. Juwan say? <coughs> Joanne, a car mechanic, said he spotted the object while trying to take snaps with his mobile phone of what? Of an approaching storm, which these chariots create these storms. <clears throat> and this is the video right here, man. Literally, look. The chariot is literally shooting out lightning. You can literally see the, you see the chariot right there. <clears throat> and where's the actual video, um... Yeah, here it is.
And this is during a storm, man. You see. <clears throat> Literally, man. You see, one line is strike, and then the second one. You see, there it is right there, man. A storm. See, look at that, man. Four, 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 man. All praise to Yahweh, Shem Hashem. Sure. You see, that's clearly a vehicle, man. The chariot. <clears throat> it's the angels. <coughs> he said the photo appears to show the disc hanging in front of the dark clouds in the distance. Joanne hit back at the doubters and stood by his story. Yeah, good. Because what you saw was real, man. To try and make out like he's crazy, and that. That's what Esau does, man. He makes out like he's crazy. <coughs> and he puts you on his witchcraft medicine. Um. As he gave his account of the sighting outside his, his home in Valle Hermaso on August 17, the Mexican television station RDTV, he, he claims were backed by his wife and one of his co-workers, also, who also said they saw the mysterious saucer before it shot off into the sky towards space. And you see, the, the chariots are fast, man, and they can move in any direction they want. Like your mates mentioned, um, where's Ezekiel? Ask oh, Esther. And yeah, like it says here, um, Ezekiel 1 and 12, it says, And they went, everyone straight forward, wherever the spirit was to go. They went and they turned not when they went. So yeah, man, these vehicles don't operate the same way as Esau's vehicles do. So they can move in ways <clears throat> that you can't imagine. For example, it can just go straight up. Or go left or go right without <clears throat> having to slow down. You can move in it in any direction it wants because it's operating off the spirit of the Lord. And it, what it literally says um, with God, nothing is, is impossible. So with the spirit and power of Yahweh Shemal Shai, they're able to do this. <clears throat> and nothing is impossible to, to the, to the Allah Hayam or the powers or the angels. Um, where was I? Yeah, it's a John Manuel, Manuel Sanchez. It's certain what he saw was a UFO or a chariot. Juan said he was in shock when he first allegedly spotted the object, saying it wasn't fear but something like astonishment. <clears throat> And you should have seen how I reacted when I took a picture of that chariot, man. <laughs> well, I'm about to show you a scene anyway, because this article is nearly over. He said he added that he dis well, he added that he is disappointed. So like, yeah, he didn't get a video, but as his camera was in photo mode, he simply took the pictures he could before the object vanished. Joanne admitted he was worried about making his sight in public as he feared the stigma associated with UFOs. And really, I don't really care what these people think. <clears throat> I wouldn't go public with the stuff that I have. I've got hundreds of videos and pictures of these vehicles and they're locked up safely in my Google Drive. <clears throat> And it says, um, he told RDTV it was right there above that house, above the cables. It's sad I wasn't able to get a video. As to the comments below to share your thoughts. Yeah, that, I think, wait. 
yeah this is the last part of the article it said he added we were working here outside at the workshop and we saw some very dark clouds it was cloudy like it is now a bit more when we started watching it it was in one place it wasn't moving like the scriptures say man <laughs> like the scriptures say let me just click on here Yeah, verse 21. When those when these went, and when those stood, these stood, and when those were lifted up from the earth, the wheels were lifted up over against them. But the spirit of the living creature was in the wheels. So yeah, man, wherever the, the chariot can just stand there if he wants to. Because like, like I may mention, it's operating off the spirit of the Lord, man. And with the Lord, nothing shall be impossible. And nothing is impossible. And that's what the, the chariots or the vehicles can do that. <clears throat> and it says, um, it says it wasn't moving. And then as I got, as I got the second and third photo, it started moving upwards. When I changed my phone to video mode, it wasn't, it wasn't possible. As it was going away, I could see it more, the shape of the disc. And yeah, that's, that's it for that. So uh, now I can show you the pictures. Right, this was taken on the 6th of September, or well, yesterday. That's when my brother was here. He basically came and he was like, show me the chariots then. He was like, show me, show me these vehicles. And we went outside and I put it, I put into three of them that were there. And it was like, and they looked like stars. And then I took, that's when I took this picture, man. And look at it. That's when I took that picture, and then the Lord had it that, like, three chariots were flying at the same time, and he seen it, and then he was like, are you sure they're not planes? And then guess what the Lord did, man? The Lord sent a plane right over our heads, and he immediately knew, like, yo, what I saw, it wasn't planes, it wasn't no stars. <laughs> so, he knows, maybe there's hope for my brother. And then more chariots here. These these aren't the ones that I took today. That I'm showing you. Where's the other one? Yeah, and there's the silver one right there, just chilling. I think there's another one right there, but I ain't sure. And these are the ones that I took today. Look at it, man. Look at it. You're telling me that's not a chariot. That's a chariot, man. That's a chariot right there. Literally took that today. Let me go on the details. You see, 8th of September 2022 at 4.22. That's when I took it. <clears throat> Look at it, man. Beautiful, man. All praise the album. And then I took another picture. It's the same one. But this time it changed its shape. And then this is on a different zoom level. This is on ten times zoom. Uh, this is this is the same chariot that I just took a picture of. What, the ones that I'm showing you. Look at it, man. You're telling me this isn't a chariot. The Alahama in there, man. This is what <clears throat> the prophets were talking about when I said the wheels or the clouds or um what was it called? <clears throat> so like yeah. Let me kinda of show you the videos. Not the videos, I mean the pictures. And look at it man. That's ten times zoom as well. And there it is again, it changed its shape again. Yeah man. And then there it is again. This is on 1.7 zoom. And there it is, man. And seeing there's one up here too, man. Just chilling. 
and that might be one I, I ain't sure though. I'm not gonna say it is because I'm unsure about that. But yeah, man. Those were taken today. But yeah, man. Um, <laughs> I hope this video was edifying to those that watch. And shalom, slakia. I forgot to give praise unto Yahweh Bashim Hausha. Yeah, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Hausha, Bashim Kadash. And yeah, shalom.